What's up guys? It is Sunday. I'm at work right now and I am just not in the mood for this. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've been working like so much lately. I didn't tell you guys this before but a while ago I got a second job um, working at a convenience store overnight. I won't say which one because I don't want creepers on the internet to find me but yeah so I worked at UPS during the day and then I go overnight at this other place and just lately I've been working so much. It sucks not getting sleep. It sucks not seeing my husband at all, but you know, gotta do what you gotta do. The bills aren't gonna pay themselves. There's not a whole lot of new stuff going on. Um, I have been vlogging some lately, but I just haven't had time to sit down and edit and upload it. So I, I do have some content for you. Just have to find the time to sit down and get it done. And then I will put it up. So they might be a day or two late, but just be, bear with me and be patient. Yesterday, Tony and I went to the Budweiser factory in Merrimack and did a tour of that, and it was awesome. And I vlogged that, so I might, I don't know if I'm going to do a separate vlog of that by itself or just put it in like a daily vlog, but it would be kind of long, so. And we saw a drum solo competition, which was awesome. And it's funny because like just the other day I was telling my husband how I wanted to learn how to play the drums. But yeah, we just happened to stumble upon this drum solo competition at the brewery. And, uh, you know, we were watching some of these drummers and one kid was like 12 years old and he was amazing and after that we just went and did a couple more errands and then we went home and I helped Tony work on a project we also got some poison ivy weed killer to put in the backyard because Chloe got poison ivy all over her oh my god that was such a nightmare she had it all over her belly and it was red and she had it like in between her fingers on her paws so she was like gnawing on her paws because they itched and she was trying to get it and then she would like get it on her face and like around her eyes like started like getting like all bubbly and like on her back and stuff you could see bumps popping up like under her fur almost like if she had gotten stung by like a hundred bees and had like bee stings popping up it was like hives on her skin but I don't know if that's part of poison ivy maybe if she ate it or something and it got inside but it was all over her oh my god she was miserable you could tell and she was like rudder she just kept like bouncing around the house because she was just like so restless and itchy and she was miserable. But I gave her a couple Benadryls because some people on Facebook were telling me to give her some Benadryl. So I did that. That seemed to help quite a bit with it. Um, one of my sisters brought over this like itchy shampoo wash stuff for her. So I'm going to do that too. But she seems to be doing much better now. I don't think we need to take her to the vet. And so far Sandy hasn't gotten anything on her. I think her long hair helps to avoid that although Sandy had tick on her the other day so now we have to watch for ticks and oh my god but other than that both dogs are fine that's all I can think to update you guys on right now um just been working a lot but I am vlogging and I'm trying to get the stuff up so bear with me and um, I'm gonna get back to work now one I there is one other security person here working with me but he just stepped out of the office so I just figured I'd take this time to jump on real quick and, and give you an update and say hi and what up. Alright, so um, I love you guys and thanks for watching and I will catch you later.